Welcome here, everybody, to Homestead, Florida. As qualifying is about again for knockout qualifying here. Today here in Homestead, Miami, Florida. I think we jumped a gun. I think last week we said Daytona was this week. We had the wrong wrong city, the same state. Homestead is race 11. Last year, Dylan Schwalberg won this race. And this week... We have a new member to the knockout queue. As Cody Monaco moved into the top 30. You can see right there, Jeff Bright. And the 31 was not from 30th in points, the 31st. So Jeff Bright is now into the knockout queue spectrum. As Dylan Abraham trying to run some quick laps around Homestead Miami Speedway. Cars running around up near the top of the racetrack, we just noticed. But, uh, nobody has said an official lap yet. No time. Or there we go. Dylan Abraham, first car on the board with a 28-290. As times are starting to go up on the board. Connor Hurley runs a 27-9. Derek Hamill. Riding around. Gatlin Downey. Seth Taylor sitting P7 with a 28-3. Robert Hernandez trying to use... Uh, Use all the lines he can into turn two or just turn three. Look at him getting up under Taylor Brown Price. See if he can put the power down off the corner. Side by side, coming to the stripe. If that was the end of a race, we couldn't have tailed. But right now, yeah, that was a fast lap from Robert Hernandez. Derek Edison has jumped to second, and Luke Ryan has jumped to tenth. Hillary Sanchez is now tenth. So that tent's going to bounce around for a little bit since everyone's now starting to lay down serious, legit lap times. Al Agassi has just been moved to 10th. Taylor Brown Price has now dropped to 9th. Now Taylor Brown Price has dropped to 10th. Luke Ryan back to 10th. It's like uh, Matt Haas is now 10th. Look, this is a three wide battle. Oh man, this is really helping Scott Roush. He's getting off. He's getting three lanes of draft. Look at that 61. This is going to be a really good lap for Scott if this don't put him on the pole. 27 4 6 6 for Scott Roush. Three, they went three wide in front of him. And that just opened up a. That was like him running behind the two semi trucks. He got all the effect off that. Al Lagasse jumps to second. Dylan Abraham is currently a tiff. Hubby Jackson sitting 15th. Running a 27 7. Right now. Well, for a second there, we had every one of the Ford Performance cars in the 52, the 38, and the 34. Not counting the two that are in. Robbie Jackson having a problem coming to pit lane. Alright, so thank you. Start next season. With teams only being able to have four per team, four performances going to have to send somebody either down to D2. It's going to probably be either between Derek Edison and Jack Legacy, to be honest. Those are the two guys who are deep in owner's points. Al Legacy would probably be Sportsman Division 1. But a guy like Derek Edison who... 
A guy like Derek Edison who has a ton of track time, a ton of experience. He's the type of guy you look for maybe to start that D2 team around. He could probably be a guy who could low-key win a couple races in D2. That's the thing. You put him in D2, and then any D1 it, team communicates with him. He could leave for performance and go somewhere else and be back in D1. Until we get the official day. The official uh, series name will be announced in Knockout Q at at at, uh, at Talladega. That's what we're hearing. That's when the official name of the secondary series is going to drop. <clears throat> Robbie Jackson running not that great laps. I think that eight car is down the cylinder. It's tough. It's been tough for Robbie this season. He's got. To, he's had to keep these cars clean. But the later part of the season is when you have to run these tracks where you run a lot of RPMs. Michigan, Atlanta, Talladega, Daytona, Pocono. And these engines and these backup cars probably aren't that great. He's technically not in backup cars. He bought these cars. They're old cars from last season and previous seasons and previous season chassis and previous season engines. But when you come through this stretch and you're an underfunded team like that eight car, that's when it gets really hard for this team to continue what they're doing. Scott Roush has got the funding by Roush, and you can see the difference in between cars. Jack Legacy has jumped to third, <clears throat> and right now, like we said, all three Ford Performance cars are locked in. Currently 10th is Alex Wheeler. Jeff Bright looks like he's going to miss maybe his first race of the season. Joshua Sakulli running 20th fastest right now. Taylor Brian Price running running 7th fastest. So you can see Sakulli in a battle maybe to get up in the transfer spot. As you can see somebody has jumped up and has knocked some guys down. Derek Edison is now sitting P10. Sakulli have enough momentum to maybe make a charge. 27.599. He's moving up actually in this five car. That was his best lap right there. 27.599. If he can just move, get a couple more tents, he's going to be a guy who, if he gets a couple tents up, he's going to be a car that could knock maybe Derek Edison out of the show. We're going to ride here. With them coming around. 27.582. He's going to knock some more time off of that. You can see he's up to 16th quick. That 5.82. Is this lap going to be enough? Look, he's up to the bank bumper, the 19. 27.483. Sakali has moved up in the fifth and has knocked out Derek Edison. Where's Derek Edison? Is he even on the racetrack? Yeah, he's running 28. That's not going to get him in the show. The 
Brother Sanchez moves up to P9. Or Scott Roush back on the racetrack. P4 currently. Scott came in and put a set of tires on. He said it was the tires they had from practice that just scuffed up. Let's qualifying is officially over. Nobody's lap times are changing. We'll go ahead and hit that. Here is your top fit of 10 currently. All right, it's Alan Legacy, Lily Murphy, Phil Parker, Scott Roush, Joshua Sakoli, Jack Legacy, Robert Hernandez, Matt Haas, Hillary Sanchez, and Taylor Brian Price. And that is your top 10, and they are locked in to tonight's race at Homestead. So we will see you guys shortly for some Homestead action. Till we meet again, guys.